I'm here with my chair. We are here at the Supreme Court grounds. 
to hear the judgment of the Constitutional Court on the interpretation of Article 72 in relation to Kwacha and Kabushi constituencies. Remember, we have two cases in the courts. The first one was the interpretation of the Constitution and Article 72, uh, 4H. Remember, that was the article that ECZ used first to advertise that the, our candidates were not qualified and also subsequently used that to bar our candidates and to refuse the filing of their uh, nomination. So what is happening right now is the constitutional court judgment. Uh, the justices yesterday stated that they will deliver the judgment. Today it was a panel of five judges. Um, and like we said, again, it's the interpretation of Article 72, whether our candidates are qualified or whether ECZ interpreted the Constitution properly. We have another matter in the High Court where we are challenging the decision by ECZ to refuse to accept the filing of our nominations by our candidate. So the two cases have bearing on, on, on each other, but the mo major one is this one that is being delivered by the Constitutional Court. We also want to put on record two issues. We were very shocked yesterday to see the Justice Minister appear in court, in person, sit in the benches for where his uh, Attorney General and Solicitor General are supposed to sit. A minister, a cabinet minister, is a policy maker. He doesn't involve himself in any matter. Uh, that's why he has Attorney General and Solicitor General. So his appearance yesterday was um, an act of intimidation against the bench, against the judiciary. It was uh, uh, an act that undermined justice. We saw his explanation later where he said he was just passing and he thought he could pass through the court. It never works like that. We've had numerous justice ministers in this country. And uh, the only justice minister who would appear in court was George Kunda because he was both the Attorney General yes. and was Justice Minister. Indeed. In this case, the two are separate. You never saw Honorable Given Rubinda appear in court because he was Justice Minister. Uh, and no, then no. We've, we've just noted, Mr. President, <laughs> we are live, you can greet the people. Council, how are you? Attorney yeah. General. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> how are you? Good, the, 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 the symbol of the operation is very visible. <laughs> 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 no, we are uh, No, we heard about the. Uh, yeah, so the, and the other matter is um, is uh, the Minister of um, Information and Media, Minister of Information and Media Director, uh, Mr. Tabukawana, posted something on the blogs that has become viral where he said he's aware that the opposition will. We will cry, you know, that it would end in tears, quoting his own words. I think those remarks are totally unfortunate. Mr. Tabukawana is uh, a member of government, is a civil servant, and he holds the position of director spokesperson, whatever that means. He should stay away from matters like that. Other than that, this matter is contemptuous. It's unacceptable for Mr. Tabukawana to make the remarks he made. So those remarks are totally unfortunate. Whatever Mr. Kawana says, for us we are upbeat. We think that uh, we, are, we have a very good case and uh, we will see that justice is delivered for our candidates. They were never disqualified. Their seats were nullified, but they were never disqualified. So we'll speak to you later, or intermittently we'll be walking out in case there are some developments. Thank you very much. I'm